YouTube family. This is Miss Peaches 06 coming at you with a video that has been I know you guys have been waiting on it for a long time. I know I've been MIA. I've had a lot of things going on, but this video is still not the video to talk about all that, but I have been having a lot of things going on um, that have been taking up a lot of my time, and so therefore I have not had time to do a lot of videos, but I do have some plan that I'm going to try to start doing now since things are kind of settling down for me a little bit. And I will be making an update video about my life soon, and I will be making an update video about my hair soon. Um, I missed my one year fully natural anniversary, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was September the 18th, um, about two months ago. My bad. I will show you guys how long my hair is kind of getting on this video, but um, this video is actually about um, protective hairstyling. Um, I live in the south, and so it only stays cold here about maybe two or three months out of the year. So I decided I'm going to start me a protective hair uh, challenge. You guys can join me if you want to. I'm going to do it for the whole month of December, January, and February. So come March 1st, I'll be getting back to my cute little twist outs and stuff. But until then, I'm going to be trying to come up with some cute protective hairstyles. And um, this is going to be a little view on my first one. But first, I'm going to talk to you guys about kind of what my plan is for my protective hairstyle challenge. Maybe you guys can join me. Um, I'm going to be shampooing my hair. Um only once every two weeks with shampoo um, and then I'll be co-washing once every two weeks alternating. I feel like in the winter time it's not as hot so therefore I don't sweat as much so my hair won't be getting as dirty so I don't think I need to shampoo it every week and also um, because the air is kind of drier I feel like co-washing in between will be a lot better to help my hair stay moist. So that's what I'm going to be doing as far as washing my hair. I still use the Shea Moisture products. Um, I've actually started using a, their anti-breakage deep conditioner and I really like that. I, I've seen improvement when I use that for the first time. So I've been using that as my deep conditioner more than the deep treatment mask or the uh, purification mask. The purification mask I probably won't use anymore because I don't really see that doing a lot for my hair. Um, so I'll be using the anti-breakage mask for my deep conditioner and I will be deep conditioning every time I wash. Well, when I co-wash sometime, if I don't feel like it, I might not. But I'm going to try to deep condition every time I wash my hair. So that will be every week. Unless I have like an elaborate protective hairstyle that took me, it takes me a long time to do, then I might not co-wash in between. I might just wear the style for two weeks. But I'll try my best to keep you guys updated once a week on what style I'm going to do and what I plan on doing. Um... Now, December 18th is going to be my two-year post-relaxer anniversary, and I do plan on straightening my hair for that. Um, I'm trying to only straighten my hair once a year, and I figure in December for my post-relaxer anniversary will be a good time for that, so that'll be the only time I kind of cheat. But I'm sure you guys understand that. So, um, when I do, when I shampoo and deep condition, I will be leaving in um, the Kimmy Tube Leave-In Conditioner. I will be doing the Kimmy Tube Leave-In Conditioner for my leave-in and a moisturizer, probably the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie or the Shea Moisture uh, Restorative Leave-In Conditioner as well. And a oil, most likely coconut oil for my sealer. So that's what I'm going to be doing as far as that. Um, so if you have any questions about my protective hairstyle challenge or if you guys want to join me, just leave a comment and let me know. So today I'm going to be my, um, this is going to be my first protective style. I think today is November the 20, oh, it might be November the 30th. November the 30th, so I'm a day or two early. I'm going to be um, flat twisting my hair up into a bun. Um, and I'm going to make the bun with the uh, Marley braid hair. Um, I'm going to be flat twisting my hair all the way to the end, putting it in a ponytail and tucking that up tucking my hair under and kind of like a bun and then I plan on protecting my hair with some kind of silk material or something over my bun before I wrap the Marley hair over my hair just to make um keep protect my hair from getting dried out from that hair and sorry about that glare I see it right now that's from a window in my other bathroom and it doesn't have a um it's like one of those little windows and it doesn't have a blind or anything over it so I guess I could try to put my head in front of it <laughs> 
Sorry about that. Maybe I need to start closing my bathroom door before I record, but live and you learn. Um, okay, back to what I was going to say. I uh, co-washed my hair with uh, Suave Moisture Milk's conditioner, and then I deep conditioned with the um, purification mask to go ahead and use the rest of that up. So I used the rest of that and threw that in the trash. And then I put Kimmy Tube Leave-In Conditioner and some... Um, Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner in my hair. Twisted it up and let it like that for about two days. So it actually would be a really cute twist out, but that's not what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to go ahead on and flat twist my hair up. But before I do that, I'll just show you guys a little link check real quick. Okay, and it's been um, 22 months since my last relaxer. Subtract 9 from that, and that's when I did my big chop. So what would that be? Um, 14 months? Yeah, it's been 23 months since my last, um, Baxter and 14 months since my, my big chop. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to get started on this hairstyle. I only have about two hours before I have to be done, before I have to go to work. So, um, oh, let me get in front of this glare again. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to flat twist my all of my hair up into a ponytail. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube on how to flat twist, so I'm not going to do that. I'm kind of in a rush to try to get this done. But when I, I what I would do is once I finish, I'll come back and show you guys what kind of design I kind of flat twisted up into. And I'll show you guys how I plan on protecting my bun, which I don't really know yet. Um, I'll figure that out. <laughs> and then I'll show you guys how I'll make, what I'll do to the Marley hair to make me, to make the bun that I'm going to actually put over my hair. So I'll see you guys later. Hey YouTube family, this is Miss Peaches06 coming at you with an update on my updo. Um, actually, it has been one week since I actually done it. Once I finished it, I was running kind of late for work, so I had to go to work, and then since then I've been just been very busy. So anyway, it's been like a week and a half since I done it. I wanted to show you to you guys before I actually take it out, let you know how it actually turned out and what I did. Um, I'll just give you like a 360 view, and then I'll kind of take it down because I'm getting ready to go to sleep. I'll take it down and let you guys see um, kind of like my process of what I did. Okay, so that's the front and the sides and the back and the other side. Okay, so as you can see, I flat twisted it on the sides and in the back and then I just did some individual twist, twist in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and take it down real quick and kind of show you guys um, how it looks down. And the front of my hair, I've actually worn it several different ways. I've worn it in these like this like pompadour. And then I've also worn it loose. I pin cur curled it kind of one day and wore it kind of like that. But the pompadour, I must say, is like my favorite way to wear it because um, you know, it looks very elegant piece of my bobby pin. That little plastic part of my bobby pin came out. I'm going to throw that one away or it's going to break my hair off. 
Okay, so when I wear it loose, I kind of wear the twist kind of like to one side like that. And then I wear it loose with my bun. Or um, I pin curled it one time, and then one time I kind of like swooped it to the side and pinned it to the side, kind of like that. But you can do a lot of things with it. But I just took about that much hair and did individual twists with it in the front. So, um, I've enjoyed it. It's been pretty versatile. I'm probably going to wear it for the rest of the week. And then once the two-week period is up, I'll go ahead on and wash it out and come up with my next style. And I will be showing you guys that I know... I haven't been as, um, I'm going to go and take this bun down so y'all can see how I did that too. I haven't been as up on doing my videos as I should be. I know that. I'm going to try to get better. Like I told you guys, I'm going to do an update video on my life so you guys will kind of understand what I've been up to and why I haven't been making as many videos as I should be. Anyway, I'm not going to confess or, or try to say that I'm going to be someone that's going to make one video a week or anything like that but I will try to update you guys and come talk to you guys a little bit more I have found that the actual edit editing process is what takes me forever to do so like I have videos recorded and just not edit it because it takes a long time for me to edit videos and I know you guys probably appreciate me the editing that I do but I might just stop editing as much that way I can just do more videos because I noticed that a lot of people just post their videos without really editing them at all. So I might do less editing. That way I can actually post more videos. But anyway. Just taking this bun down. And I secure the bun with the uh, hair pins. I don't really do it with bobby pins. Unless there's a place that I feel needs to be held more securely. Like right there in the middle of that pin I just dropped. It was a bobby pin. That's because I was securing the actual... Marley hair to my bun. And I said that I was going to uh, wrap my hair with some kind of um, satin material. I didn't do that because when I first put the bun in, I couldn't figure out how to cover my hair. So my hair was like always showing in the top. And it just wouldn't look right with the satin material. But my hair actually still stayed pretty moist. Moisturized. You can see it's shining really nicely. It's really moisturized when I touch it. Um, so it's still doing pretty good. Um, I'm just going to show you my my Mar Marley hair. I actually had a rubber band around it in the middle when I first did it to secure it to my hair, but it broke. And I didn't really find it was necessary, so I never put another one. But um, one side of the Marley hair, say this is the middle, one side I did one big twist, just a two strand twist. And then the other side I did two big twists. So what I do is I secure it to my hair in the middle and then I take the big twist and I wrap it around first. Then I take one of the little twists and I wrap it the opposite way and then I take the other one and I take it across the top and then I wrap it whichever way I want to. And that helps hide my hair and makes it look more natural. It doesn't look as neat as just wrapping it around just one way. So anyway you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this little hair. I wouldn't say it's a tutorial really but it's a hairstyle to kind of help protect your hair during the winter so I will be getting back with you guys in a few days on what style I do next and I hope y'all have a good day I'll see y'all next time oh I'll save it for another video I don't want to ruin it talk to you later <laughs>